Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Okay, so what I've done is that I have uh, found this old piece of foam block lying around. I cut a hole through it and um, push the projector lens through it. Um, I just want to have a quick test on how it looked like on the ground glass uh, before I saw off this. Right, This part is making the image circle of this lens thing to be quite small. But um, I just want to see for myself how will it look. Uh, on my Afghanistan box camera right so this is a quick lens board just to see the image on my ground glass not going to take any um, image on photo paper yet a few moments later okay so I've set up a very simple scene uh, this soft toy is about one meter away from the lens so this is what we see on the ground glass my ground glass is 5 by 7 inches and I estimate that uh, at this close uh, distance, the image on the ground glass is probably uh, 3 by 4 inches. With the long barrel, the coverage of the lens is not very big. Uh, this is um, 3 by 4 inches at about 1 meter subject to lens distance. And of course, if we have the subject at infinity, the coverage will be even smaller. Uh, but um, for a fine scan box camera, I think this will still work. Right, so I use a small hacksaw to solve the barrier. You can see I make two cuts here. The first cut was a bit conservative, so there's still quite a bit of the barrier left and it's also not straight. So I make the second cut and uh, this is uh, what is left. Okay, here is my makeshift uh, lens board again. I mounted it on a graphic shutter. This is a focal print shutter which we salvage from a baby graphics camera, right? I've talked about this in a previous video. If you have not watched that, uh, please click on the link in the top right hand corner. Right, so I intend to use this on my box camera uh, because this lens is a barrel lens, so we need to have a shutter. So I was going to push this lens in. There's no, uh, there's nothing to lock it, uh, just to hold it by friction. And after that, I'm gonna mount this on the box camera. Okay, so just uh, to let you see the coverage. Eh? So this is the same soft toy that I tested earlier, and I put a, a black tape above so that we can see on the ground glass. Uh, what's the coverage of this uh, scene? Okay, so this is the coverage of the ground glass. Um, you can see the black tape also. The subject is about one meter away from the lens, huh? so at that distance, which is quite near, uh, it does cover almost 5.7. Not the whole of 5.7, as you can see the bottom right hand corner there's a uh, vignetting. Huh? Uh, but I think I can live with it. Uh, certainly it will cover 4.5 but with little uh, movement. And of course this is at very near distance of uh, 1 meter. If we move the subject uh, further away, it may not be able to cover 4 5, right? But for my purpose, where I use it on the Afghanistan box camera, I'm going to shoot portrait, so I think that's still fine. Probably a uh, head and shoulder to a half body shot will be fine. Alright, so this is the first test shot. This one, the exposure is at 2 seconds. 
of course at f uh, 3.5 huh, the biggest aperture um, for this projection lens there is no built-in aperture right so I have to shoot it wide open there's slightly a bit of um, there's a bit of motion blur here because of the two second exposure right but otherwise I think uh, it looks quite all right I love the background being blurred out and also I have the camera face indoor uh, into my house so uh, it's also darkened up right. here we see some uh, very big reflection in my uh, spectacles right that because I'm facing the window I convert this into a digital positive so that you can take a look at the result huh? when I took this photo the sky started to turn cloudy so the light level was kind of low so what I did was to take another photo the next day now I took this by the window huh? so the setup is a bit different in terms of the exposure um, this is at f3.5 uh, 1 over 10 I meter it at ISO uh, 3 so the light is kind of good that day I have left the focusing stick here and put my um, left eye next to it huh, just to see how um, big the difference is by this short uh, distance I like the fall off in terms of the uh, sharpness huh? look very nice it does give a big aperture kind of look right So in conclusion, I would say that this Kodak projection external lens 7 inch um, aperture f3.5 at $8 is quite a good buy. Of course, at $8, I feel less painful when I solve the barrel. That because that would mean that I probably cannot use it on a proper 35mm projector. But I kind of like the result. The only thing is that the camera or the lens itself has to be quite near to the subject. Um, probably about 1 meter to 1.5 right in order to have good coverage of uh, uh, almost 5 by 7 right so if you, if you are only shooting 4 by 5 then you can afford to move the camera slightly further away from the subject so overall I think this is a good purchase well worth the $8 definitely looking forward to shoot more with it um, thank you for watching to the end of this video I'll see you in the next one bye Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally do subscribe to my channel and I see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.